All right, what is up guys? Welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna to talk about importance in exercise. So right now, I'm about to hit the gym and let's talk about a very important thing before we go to the gym. I don't like filming outside. I don't like filming in front of a bunch of people. But well, the one is because I hate the idea of selfie because you miss the, in, miss the importance. You're not experiencing in the present moment because you're so caught up with the taking selfies and taking videos. So right now, ironically, that's my job. I have to do it. So here's a very important lesson before we get into the importance and you know, all these uh, scientific benefits of importance of exercise and how I actually exercise and how I do the workout. Today is my back day, so we're gonna do the back in the gym and I'm gonna go to the gym right now. But I want, to, I want to really meditate on the one thing that whatever you hate, it owns you. Whatever you hate, that is going to literally control your life. And I'll prove it to you. As I said, I don't like shooting filming outside. I don't like filming in the, outside of the, you know, people. People looking at me like, oh, he must be a fucking YouTuber or whatever. But if I hate, if I keep hating them and not doing it and avoiding it that means that i the aspect of like selfies and filming outside will control my life imagine that you hate dog like i'm pretty sure you like dog but let's say you hate dog yeah and you fucking hate it and every corner you go outside from house and every corner you go to there's a dog so you avoid dogs every corner you go to oh fuck there's a dog oh fuck there's a dog fuck there's a dog so you have to avoid everything every corner you go to because there's a dog imagine your life is like that you're going through your life and you're avoiding everything you hate oh i hate this and i hate that you have to avoid every corner and then every opportunities in your life so whatever you hate it owns you the best thing that we can do to challenge ourselves to get used to the things that we don't like and we hate. And then it's much better for me to get used to it and then find the way to enjoy the process, enjoying doing selfie, enjoying the shoot filming outside, rather than just like, I hate it, but put a middle finger to it. It's actually my first time filming in a gym and sharing the workout. So today I've got my back going on. So let's, let's see how it looks like right now. see it it's not that bad it's been growing it's not that bad i like it so all right yeah with this said this is natural like i'm not sure if the the light light is pretty shit um i'm pretty sure i look better in, in the real life but we're just gonna go on and see what we can do i'm not pumped so this is pretty much my natural size it's all right all right, let's go to the gym. Bam. All right, what is up guys? So I'm in the gym right now. Um, it's good that we don't have many people. What we're gonna do is a back. So I'm going to do uh, pull-ups with this machine. I'm not sure if I can show you guys very well. Try not to show everybody else around because a Japanese people are very sensitive in that sense. We'll see. So what we can do. Alright. I'm gonna do a bit of a stretch. And I'm gonna use this as a weight. It's a 16 kg. First I wanna hang a bit and then stretch my back. You don't wanna get injured, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I want to do like a three pull-ups to just warm up my back. And I like to make it wider because it's much harder and then uh, I've learned that you get a wider back if you actually um, keep your hands apart. So there's obviously the limitation here. So I'm gonna use the as much as I can. And I'm gonna carry this motherfucker as well. 
All right. Let's get it. Drop it. And then three. So I tend to do with the weight or like the heavier weight sets that I can do like an eight or something and then drop it immediately and make it lighter. For example, I did nine with the weight, drop it, do another three without the weight because we have the tension left in the muscle and we want to use it completely to really do the work. So I'm going to do this for four reps. I'll do this for reps as many as I can with the right and then drop it for three to another three reps without the weight. Then uh, yeah, I'll move on to the next. I'm not going to show everything today. I'm going to do all sort of the arms, but I'll show you a little bit of the my workout because exercise is so important. Yeah, I totally forgot about what we're supposed to talk about this. So the exercise is very, very important because it produces serotonin in your body and naturally reduces the, uh, the amount of cortisol, which is a stress hormone in your body. And what happens is organically you create this circulation of like reducing cortisol. Uh, releasing the stress and the negative energy from your body and increasing the serotonin which is the amino acid called tryptophan and it goes into your brain and it's a, a aka happy hormone it's a happy chemical so like it makes you feel good and the more you exercise you produce more uh, serotonin and you feel better it's one of the best ways to actually literally reduce, uh, increase the uh, the level of like contentment and happiness and just genuinely feel good also you know you make sure you're emotionally mentally stable and uh, increase a uh, lot of like mental resilience so it's definitely better and then obviously depending on um, your level you can choose the the entrance uh, when it comes to the exercise you don't want to just go crazy like hardcore from like straight from the beginning you know but you're like oh shit I haven't been working out much for like the last couple of years, then you want to start slowly because you don't want to get injured. And uh, yeah, it's really important because your mind and the body are a spiritual instrument. You need to understand that the same as your car, if you don't maintain your car, it's, or it, you'll eventually have to bring it to um, the mechanics and fix it. My friend of mine actually, uh, my friend's car, uh, recently stopped the other day. And obviously she wasn't really maintaining. So you have to maintain your spiritual instrument in order to orchestrate your beautiful harmony and your beautiful music. And if you don't treat your body as a beautiful spiritual holy thing, then you have to pay the price eventually. So don't be lazy because, because you have a body you can walk, because you have a body you can make money, because you have a body you can do things and you can experience human experience. And for us to be less grateful about the fact that we have a body, healthy body. I think it's it's just arrogant. So maintain your body is a necessi necessity. It's not luxury. All right. With this said, I will go do the finish to this wrap, and I will do the back thing after this. So yeah, I'll finish with this one first. Cool. So what we're gonna do next is this movement or oh, I need a back support. Alright. Alright, so what we're gonna do is another back uh, exercise and 
Yeah, again, I would, what, what I would do always is to do with the heavy ones that is very challenging to me, uh, preferably like six or eight, and then reps like for do three sets. But again, I'm gonna immediately go to the, to the dumbbell, because it's much lighter for me and it's easier. So I just want to use all the uh, energy and the muscle and the tension, the tension uh, in one rep. So start with the heavy one, immediately go to the dumbbell and then to literally just erase all my energy and my strength. All right, let's do this. It's actually my first time challenging this way. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna do basically all the workout training in this way. Start with the challenging weight. Immediately going to the lighter weight to really eliminate all my strength in one rep. I'll do it three reps usually. And uh, yeah. So again, a message in this video. It's really exercise. You know, we are so fortunate to have body. But in order to maintain that beautiful gift from God, we get to do the work. And I think it's nothing but laziness if you don't maintain something that you're gifted. There are some people out there, you know, wishing to have like a healthy body. So, and it's good for your mental health. So, one stone, perhaps 10 birds. Or with I said, I'll see you tomorrow.